How's it going, 10 Little Hot Dog Cuties? Ben here, and before we get started on today's topic of discussion, I just want to say that I'm actually starting to get recognized in public, which is pretty crazy because I thought I'm kind of insignificant in the YouTube realm right now. I only have like, what, 140 subscribers, which, by the way, I appreciate every single one of you who subscribe to me because I thought I was insignificant, but... A lot of, um, I did a tour at my medical school this Friday and th there were there were people that actually recognized me. They were like, oh yeah, I saw your YouTube video. You included a super interesting perspective on applying to medical school. So I was like, no way. My videos are not only helping people, but I'm actually starting to gain a little bit, a little bit of recognition for the videos that I put out to you guys. So thank you guys so, so, so much for supporting me, people who have supported me from the very beginning. I don't know how many of you guys started watching me when I was making those um, lesson, the the Khan Academy style videos, then I, then I transformed into more of a talking head channel. But if you've been here for a long time, I appreciate you and I'm always here to help you out. That is my number one, number one goal, to help anyone that asks me for help. As much as I can, I can possibly do. I don't want to become overwhelmed with trying to help as many people as possible and then suffer from it. So as much as I possibly can, I want to help you guys out. So let's get down to today's topic of discussion today. This week, specifically, I made my five months on testosterone milestone and you guys can tell I have been getting more broader my shoulders are definitely broad before like five months ago my shoulders would actually be around here and then the sleeves would be drooping down but now my shoulders are much more broader I'm starting to starting to have that Dorito shape guys the Dorito shape that a lot of men who bodybuild have and which is awesome because I've been going to the gym non-stop if you guys follow me on Instagram you see that almost every other day I post something about going to the gym. It's just something I'm super, super passionate about. It feels really good. I feel super good. Super good. Uh, because of the new physique that I am building for myself. So I'm really happy to share that with you. But because we just hit my five-month milestone, I thought why not go ahead and make a video about transitioning so today's topic I want to talk about the myths and realities of how testosterone change has changed my mood and I can only speak for myself I cannot speak I cannot speak for other trans men and other uh, non-binary folk who are taking testosterone I can only speak for myself so uh, let's get started and we will debunk those those myths that people make and we will reiterate some of the things that have affected my mood. So let's get started. So the first myth, when people hear that you're taking testosterone replacement therapy, is that they automatically, for some reason, I have no idea why, because of the fact that there's not much scientific evidence backing this, is that they think that testosterone will make you more aggressive, it'll make you more... Uh, prone to anger, it'll make you more, it'll make your fuse go off more easily, which is not true at all. I think it has the complete opposite effect on me personally, and I'm sure many other trans men don't blow a fuse, don't lose their temper easily after they've started taking testosterone. I think that's just a common myth that people associate with male hormones, but that's more of societal's opinions, societal's outlook on how men should behave. I don't think it has anything to do with hormones. And I just finished my endocrinology le uh, lecture series in medical school, and we, when we talked about testosterone, there was almost no, there was almost no correlation with mood. There's a slight correlation, but as far as how significant it is, how significant testosterone affects mood, it's not that dramatic. There are other hormones out there 
There's other ways you change your behavior that affects your mood far more greater than testosterone does. So in short, testosterone has not made me more of a toxic male. It has, in fact, made me more calmer. It has made me much more able to listen to people without getting irritated, actually. Before, I remember, I always considered myself to be a patient person. You can talk to any number of my past relationships, my past friends, my current friends. I'm a very calm and straightforward thinking person. I never get angry. I very rarely do ever get angry and I rarely ever get get ticked off. And when I am angry, it's for it's usually for the right reasons. It's usually because I have a friend who's going through a hard time because of someone else or I am going through a hard time because of someone else. And ever since I started taking testosterone, I see myself getting less and less angry. I see myself as calm, but I also see myself as that I am willing to stand up for myself. And I think that has more to do with the fact that I'm more confident because of the changes that testosterone has allowed me to have than actually the hormone itself. I'm more able to stand my ground. I'm more able to fight for myself. I'm more able to be confident. Instead of getting very emotional, which is often associated with femininity, but I don't think I was emotional because I had more estrogen or I had more female hormones. I don't think that was it at all. I think I was naturally more emotional because I was in a state of being before taking testosterone where I felt vulnerable, where I felt that I could be taken advantage of, where I, where I let people take advantage of me more often than I'm comfortable admitting to myself. But now that I'm taking testosterone, I'm so much more confident in who I am as a person, who I am as a man, that I'm able to fight for myself and that I'm able to fight for who I love, who I care about, what I care about and what I love more respectfully instead of getting pissed off as most people kind of associate testosterone with, I'm more able to take time to think take time to think about how I'm going to respond to a situation. And I can respond to it maturely. And I think also a lot of it has to do with growing up. Ten years ago, I was not the same person that I was emotionally, mentally, and maturely. And growing up, being more confident, doing things that make me more confident has allowed me to just become a more free-thinking, more patient person. I do have to express one alteration in my behaviors, though. I don't see it as a behavior change, more of like how I react to unfortunate circumstances change that, testo that taking testosterone has kind of elevated. And that is my ability to cry, my ability to lacrimate which is the scientific term of crying. And honestly, I have looked at, although although as far as the side effects of testosterone that's medically written, it is not listed, a lot of trans men who are going through hormone replacement therapy actually report this a lot because I've seen a lot of other trans male YouTubers expressing that their ability to cry is so much more less and I agree with that. I, I cry a lot less than I used to. But at the same time, it's not that I am more emotionally toned off. I get the same emotions. I get the same feelings. I get the same feeling of sadness when I used to cry. It's just that no tears come out. And every now and then, I can, I can still cry. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I do cry. I cried, like, maybe last week or something because I was upset about something. But it takes me a lot, a lot more emotional involvement for tears to come down uh, my eyes before I could cry for very simple annoyances in my life, like failing an exam. Before I cried 
because of those things. But now I get frustrated. I get more frustrated at not angry, not violent, not unapproachable, not assertive uh, or ticked off. But I just get more frustrated than sad about those things. So I think that's the only behavior change that I've seen from taking testosterone is just I crying is just crying is just so much harder but if anybody if you are pre-transitioning if anybody tries to discourage you from taking testosterone by saying you're going to be a completely different person that you're going to be angrier that you're going to be mad you're going to have like hormonal outbursts that is not true I'm here to tell you that I am in such a more better place. I think I had more hormonal heart outbursts before. Because, I wouldn't even call it hormonal. I just had like anxiety outbursts before taking testosterone because I was so bent up with all these feelings that I had that I couldn't express. And now that I can, I feel so much, so much more better. So if you are pre-transitioning, don't let those things bo bother you. Don't let those things that people tell you bother you because I got it a lot. A lot of people told me that I was going to get angrier, that I was going to get more violent, that I was going to treat women lesser, which to me kind of just blows my mind on how society thinks men treat women. Men don't have to treat women badly. And it's crazy. It's crazy, guys. I think I respect women a lot more now, actually. I listen to women. I'm more attentive to women. I, I was before. I'm not going to say that I wasn't, but I never lashed out at a woman, never degraded a woman, and I never will. And testosterone will not change that fact. That's the kind of man I want to be. A man that respects women, a man that loves women, and the man, a, a man that cares women, and a man that also wants to fight for the rights of men to express themselves freely instead of these social pressures that men have, that we have to be strong all the time, that we can't cry. We can cry. It's just a little bit harder than usual. <laughs> I love you guys. I hope this video was interesting to you because this was definitely a change. This was definitely a change I had to slightly adjust to. Slightly adjust to. I hope you guys like my videos. Tune in for next week. Have a great one, guys. This is Ben, and I'll see you on the next one.